At first, there was an endlessly thick mass of issue. This mass went through a blast that brought about the arrangement of iotas, particles, stars, and systems that we can notice today. For many years, this has been the clarification presented by physicists. Anyway, later research has presented a new viewpoint that proposes the universe doesn't have as early a beginning as initially accepted. Rather, it could be part of a recurrent cycle in which the universe goes through a progression of cycles of extension and compression, potentially in a circle. Brian Cox, a prestigious physicist, feels a little uncertain about the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation, contending that something can't emerge from nothing. This scrutinizing adds a charming component to the conversation. Furthermore, research from the James Webb Telescope has uncovered data that goes against the possibility that the enormous detonation denoted irrefutably the start of the universe. This prompts the central question. On the off chance that the huge explosion was not the start of the universe, then what was? Join us on this excursion to the starting points of the universe, where we will investigate the outskirts of the huge explosion, answer this inquiry, and more. Assuming that you are keen on keeping up to date with news about the universe and its environmental factors, buy into our channel, hit the like button, share this video to contact more individuals, and turn on the notification chime. Researchers have fostered a point-by-point -point comprehension of the universe in its earliest stages, known as the theory of the universe's origin. According to this model, the universe was a lot more modest, hotter, and denser than it is today, around 13.8 billion years ago. During that period, every one of the components that make up our reality were shaped in a matter of minutes. In this hypothesis, our universe, including stars and worlds, was once basically as little as a peach and had an incredibly high temperature of over a quadrillion degrees. Curiously, this amazing story adjusts reliably with all current perceptions. Stargazers have examined everything from the remainder of electromagnetic radiation of the early universe to the overflow of the lightest components and have found that everything concurs with the forecasts of the huge explosion to the best of our knowledge. This portrayal fits the reality of our universe impeccably. Anyway, regardless of its clear power, we realize that the theory of the universe's origin isn't the total picture. There's a missing part of this riddle, and that part is a comprehension of the principal snapshots of the universe. This challenge is due in large part to the impediments of the actual hypotheses we currently utilize. The mix of general relativity and high-energy particle physics furnishes us with an important theoretical framework. Anyway, as we dig further into the underlying snapshots of the universe, the numerical intricacy increases significantly, reaching a place where our ongoing strategies can't provide significant solutions. One sign of this trouble is the presence of a peculiarity, a mark of endless thickness toward the start of the huge explosion. This idea proposes, in a literal sense, that the universe was once compacted into a boundlessly little and thick state, which seems ridiculous. To address this challenge, we need to investigate new boondocks in physics, foster a methodology that overcomes these constraints, and provides a more complete comprehension of the primary case of the universe. Our ongoing instruments and theoretical frameworks are not sufficiently robust to address this test, so we need to foster new physics that can include and make sense of gravity and the other key forces at extremely high energies. This is precisely where string theory comes into the picture. This theory tries to be an actual model fit for bringing together gravity with the other basic forces, particularly at ultra-high energies. Essentially, String theory posits that it can provide an explanation for the primary snapshots of the universe. Within string theory emerges the idea of an aeon, which takes its name from the Greek word meaning setup or age. This thought proposes that the enormous detonation, as far as we might be concerned, was the consequence of a prior event, suggesting that it was not indisputably the start but maybe a part of a continuous interaction. Broadening the idea of an aeonic universe has led to the development of a related hypothesis called cyclic cosmology. Although the possibility of a cyclic universe has been considered for centuries, string theory provides a strong numerical basis for this concept. In the framework of cyclic cosmology, the universe functions as though it continuously sways between huge blasts and collapses in a perpetual cycle that extends limitlessly into the past and future. This hypothesis of cyclic cosmology was proposed by the famous physicist Roger Penrose, who was awarded the Nobel Prize. Penrose was intrigued by an amazing numerical relationship between the early universe 
described by extreme thickness in intensity and diminutiveness during the enormous detonation, and the future state of the universe, which is described as very cold, extended, and devoid of matter. The hypothesis suggests that these two states become numerically indistinguishable when pushed to the limits. Despite seeming confusing, the total absence of matter could be the main force behind the production of all the matter we see today. According to this viewpoint, the enormous detonation starts from what remains nearly vaguely after all the matter in the universe has been consumed by black holes that eventually dissipate into dispersed photons in a vast void. The universe emerges from what, from another perspective, essentially approaches nothingness. Although this nothingness is still a form of something that is an actual universe, albeit an empty one, the secret lies in how the same state can be interpreted as both a cold void universe and a thick universe depending on the perspective. The key to this understanding lies in a complex numerical method called the conformal change, which is a mathematical transformation that changes the size of an object while preserving its shape. Roger Penrose demonstrated that the cold void state and the hot thick state can be related through the scale change, adjusting their spatiotemporal designs despite their differences in size. However, Penrose contends that the concept of time loses its importance under these limit states of being. In cyclic cosmology, the sequence of events transpires from an old cold state to a young hot state. The presence of the hot and thick state is the consequence of the past cold and void state. However, this causal relationship doesn't follow the conventional notion of time since, in these extreme states, both size and time lose their usual meanings. The cold void state and the hot thick state exist on discrete timetables, which means that from the perspective of an observer within its own time span, the cold empty state would go on indefinitely. Physics and philosophy are interwoven in this domain of cyclic cosmology. It provides speculative and detailed explanations for the beginning of these cycles. However, regardless of whether Penrose's ideas gain support in cosmological advances, a deeper philosophical inquiry still lingers about the beginning of physical reality itself. How did these cycles come into existence? This leads us to contemplate the justification for the presence of something rather than nothing, which is one of the key supernatural inquiries. For our purposes, we will focus on explanations within the domain of physics, and there are three possible outcomes to consider in exploring the beginnings of these cycles. First, there might be no grand reason at all. Second, there could be an endless series of cycles where each cycle represents a different universe, and the initial quantum condition of every universe is somehow still influenced by some part of the universe that preceded it. Finally, there is the option of a single cycle in a reoccurring universe where the start of the cycle is explained by some component of its own end. These possibilities are appealing because they avoid the need for uncaused events and provide a more complex explanation within the actual framework. In the domain of physics, Penrose proposes the idea of a perpetual series of cycles influenced by his interpretation of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, a physical system exists in multiple states simultaneously until it is observed, at which point it randomly falls into a single state. Penrose suggests that each cycle is influenced by random quantum events that give rise to variations between cycles. This idea opens up promising possibilities for testable physics, as it proposes the chance of identifying subtle traces or anomalies in the remainder radiation of the huge explosion. The quest to understand the beginnings and nature of the universe has been a fundamental pursuit of human curiosity and scientific inquiry for centuries. From ancient philosophical hypotheses to modern cosmological speculations, humanity has consistently sought to unravel the mysteries of existence itself. In the context of contemporary astronomy and cosmology, the investigation of astronomical origins has led to significant discoveries and intriguing theoretical frameworks that challenge our fundamental understanding of time, space, and matter. One of the enduring questions that has captivated physicists and cosmologists alike is the nature of the universe before the Big Bang. While the theory of how things came to be has provided a compelling explanation for the evolution of the universe from a hot, thick state to its current expansive structure, it leaves open the question of what preceded this monumental event, if anything. The concept of a pre-Big Bang era raises significant philosophical and scientific implications, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. Several theoretical models have been proposed to address this question, each offering unique insights and perspectives on the early universe. 
One such idea is that of the multiverse, which posits the existence of a vast ensemble of universes, each with its own distinct physical properties and fundamental constants. In the multiverse framework, our universe is just one among many, each emerging from different initial conditions and governed by its own set of physical laws. The concept of a multiverse arises naturally from certain interpretations of quantum mechanics and cosmological inflation theory. According to inflationary cosmology, the rapid exponential expansion of space-time in the early universe might have led to the creation of pocket universes within a larger multiversal landscape. Each pocket universe would have its unique properties shaped by random quantum fluctuations during the inflationary epoch. While the multiverse hypothesis remains speculative and challenging to test experimentally, it offers an intriguing solution to the fine-tuning problem in cosmology. The apparent improbability that the fundamental constants of nature are perfectly tuned to allow the existence of complex structures such as galaxies, stars, and life itself. Another compelling idea that challenges conventional notions of cosmic origins is that of eternal inflation. Proposed within the framework of inflationary cosmology, eternal inflation suggests that the universe undergoes an infinite sequence of inflationary phases, each giving rise to new regions of space-time with potentially different physical laws. In this scenario, our observable universe is just one of countless regions within an eternally expanding cosmic foam. The concept of eternal inflation raises profound questions about the nature of time and causality in the multiverse. If inflationary bubbles continuously give birth to new universes, the idea of a singular origin or ultimate beginning becomes increasingly elusive. Instead, the universe appears as a dynamic and ever-evolving entity embedded within a larger cosmic tapestry of inflationary growth. In recent years, Advancements in theoretical physics have also sparked interest in alternative cosmological models that challenge the conventional narrative of cosmic origins. For example, some researchers have explored the possibility of a cyclic universe, where the Big Bang is not a singular event but rather one phase in an endless cycle of cosmic expansion and contraction. According to cyclic cosmology, the universe goes through successive cycles of creation, evolution, and destruction each ending in a big crunch followed by a new Big Bang. The cyclic universe hypothesis draws inspiration from ancient cosmological ideas and modern theoretical frameworks such as string theory. Within the framework of string theory, which posits that fundamental particles are not point-like objects but rather tiny vibrating strings of energy, the concept of a cyclic universe emerges naturally from certain formulations of the theory. String theory suggests that the universe may exist in higher dimensional space-time, where cycles of expansion and contraction are a natural outcome of the interplay between fundamental forces. While the cyclic universe hypothesis remains speculative and faces significant challenges in terms of observational evidence and theoretical consistency, it represents a bold attempt to reconcile quantum mechanics with general relativity on cosmological scales by proposing a continuous cycle of cosmic renewal. Cyclic cosmology offers an enticing possibility of a universe without a definitive beginning or end where each cycle builds upon the remnants of its predecessor. In addition to theoretical models, observational cosmology has also provided crucial insights into the early universe and its evolution over cosmic time. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation in the 20th century provided compelling evidence for the Big Bang Theory, offering a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. Detailed measurements of the CMB by satellites like the Planck Observatory have enabled scientists to map variations in temperature and density across the early universe with remarkable precision. Moreover, observational cosmology has shed light on the large-scale structure of the universe, revealing the intricate web of galaxies, clusters, and cosmic filaments that span billions of light years. By studying the distribution of galaxies and measuring their redshifts, Astronomers have been able to trace the expansion history of the universe and infer its age, composition, and fate. One of the most intriguing discoveries in observational cosmology is the presence of dark energy, a mysterious form of energy that pervades the universe and is driving its accelerated expansion. First inferred from supernova observations in the late 1990s, dark energy constitutes approximately 68% of the total energy density of the universe making it the dominant component of the cosmic energy budget. The existence of dark energy presents a significant challenge to our current understanding of fundamental physics, 
as its origin and nature remain poorly understood. Some theories suggest that dark energy might be a manifestation of vacuum energy predicted by quantum field theory, while others propose modifications to Einstein's theory of general relativity to account for the observed acceleration of the universe. In line with observational efforts, experimental physicists are actively searching for new particles and interactions that could provide clues to the fundamental nature of dark energy. Additionally, other cosmic mysteries such as the Large Hadron Collider LHC, at CERN aim to probe the frontiers of particle physics by colliding protons at unprecedented energies, potentially uncovering new physics beyond the standard model. Furthermore, Advancements in astrophysical instrumentation have enabled scientists to explore the universe across various frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. Observatories such as the Atacama Large Millimeter Slash Submillimeter Array, ALMA, and the Hubble Space Telescope have revolutionized our understanding of star formation, galaxy evolution, and the cosmic distribution of dark matter. Looking ahead, the next generation of observatories such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, promises to provide new insights into the early universe and its fundamental constituents. These cutting-edge instruments will enable researchers to study the first galaxies, probe the epoch of reionization, and search for signatures of primordial gravitational waves left over from the Big Bang. In conclusion, the quest to comprehend the beginnings of the universe represents one of the greatest intellectual challenges of our time. From ancient myths and philosophical inquiries to modern scientific theories and observational discoveries, humanity's exploration of cosmic origins has yielded profound insights into the nature of reality itself. As we continue to push the boundaries of knowledge and exploration, new theoretical frameworks, observational techniques, and experimental advancements will undoubtedly illuminate the fundamental mysteries of existence and our place in the cosmos.